So looking at uh, 1.2 on the uh, unit 2, we've looked at categories of holders um, and what kind of people have information from individual citizens right up to sort of governments and, and entire countries. And as you can see here, 1.2 moves on now to thinking about how information regardless of who holds it, regardless of who the stakeholders are, who um, holds that information, they all have to store it somewhere. So 1.2 looks at the different types of information storage media. And as you can see here, paper, optical media such as CDs and DVDs, magnetic media such as uh, hard drives, uh, magnetic tape, um, zip drives, that kind of thing. Solid state media, such as SSD, uh, memory sticks, memory cards, the kind of thing you put in your smartphone. And we're interested in the characteristics of these devices, what they get used for, so what's their purpose, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using these particular types of storage media. So if you think about paper, a characteristic of paper is obviously that, you know, it's portable, it's light, it's cheap. You just grab yourself a pen and you can scribble on a post-it note or you can make a quick note in a book. Um, so it, it's quick, it's easy, it's inexpensive. Um, but some of the things that aren't so good about it, well, if it gets wet, if it gets screwed up, if it gets anywhere near a fire, then, you know, it's not, it's not great anymore. If you're in an area where there's no internet, um, then obviously you can rely on a map, which a paper map, because you, your GPS may not be working uh, on, on, your, um, on your phone. Um, your smartphone may not be working at all in, in uh, an area where there is no 3G or 4G signal, no internet connectivity. So in that case, paper may be your only option. So let's have a look at some of the uh, characteristics just to give you an idea. Here's an example of a solid state device. So there's an image here of uh, one that you would normally get if you bought uh, a laptop or if you did an upgrade. This is the kind of thing that you see in devices such as uh, Chromebooks, um, laptops, um, sometimes uh, desktop computers. There can also be external devices like this one. It's in a case and you can just carry it around with you and, and use this connection to plug it in to usually the USB uh, socket. Solid state devices are also uh, the kind of thing you find in a memory stick. So if you have one of these USB devices, a pen drive that you plug in, they, they are also solid state. So the characteristics, there's no moving parts, okay? It's not like one of the old um, magnetic hard drives that has plates inside that spin continuously until they wear out or if they get knocked, they are often um, broken, that the mechanism, the spinning mechanism is easily broken. So there's no moving parts, that's the first characteristic. Secondly, they're pretty robust. Um, if you drop them, they generally carry on working. Uh, memory sticks, I've known people wash them, uh, you know, put them through the washing machines in their trouser pocket and they still work afterwards. Fast data access is usually a characteristic on these as well because you're not waiting for the disk to spin. Usually it's a little bit faster at loading up, finding your files and so on. They're mutable, which means it's not right once and then you forget about it like a CD. This uh, data can be edited, these devices can be formatted, they can, they can be erased, they can be reused, the files on them can be edited or changed or deleted or added to. And they're generally inexpensive. These um, small uh, pen drives you can pick up, um, you know, fa fairly cheaply under a tenner for a decent sized one. Um, these... Um, internal and external drives, they're generally inexpensive until you start getting into large uh, sizes of storage and then they become a little bit more expensive, okay? So if you think about what these things are, they can be internal, they can be portable, they're reasonably quick, they're reasonably strong, 
they don't have any moving parts that wear out. So there's some, there are advantages to using some of these devices. And there are some disadvantages, such as pen drives are easily lost. Uh, the more expensive drives are generally uh, a lot more expensive. Uh, and, and it's not always a like-for-like -like swap. A one or two terabyte uh, standard hard disk swapped for a one to two terabyte SSD is quite an expensive swap. So you don't always get a like-for-like -like for the money that you're uh, actually spending on these devices. So let's have a look at an exam question. This is from a previous paper. It's been recommended that Progress Lake Sailing, which is from the case study, backs up their database to a memory stick. One mark, identify the type of information storage media in which a memory stick would be included. And the second part of this question for four marks is to give an advantage and a disadvantage of using a memory stick to back up the database. So that's four marks. So how do we pick up four marks if it's only asking for one advantage and one disadvantage? Because that sounds like it's two marks, but it's actually not, it's four marks. So let's have a look at the mark scheme. So we can see the answer to question one is anything that uh, is a solid state media or a flash drive or flash memory, memory card, something along that line. Advantages, okay, so you get one advantage with a description. So there's where the extra mark comes from. And a disadvantage with a description. <clears throat> now it says here, um, the exam board will allow answers such as it's faster to back up data to this kind of device as long as you have said compared with something else. So memory sticks can be encrypted. That's a, a good reason to maybe use one as backup. And the, and the explanation for the extra mark is the data is then secure. It conforms with the Data Protection Act. You can often password protect these devices to increase the security. So there's a mark each there. They're portable for a mark. Explain it. Describe what that means. So it can be kept by timing office staff uh, at all times, and it can be used in any device, okay? So uh, these are the kind of things that, that we, we are thinking about. Um, there's something about it being robust. If it's dropped in the water or in the lake, then often the data can still be retrieved from these things. Uh, there's no moving parts, they're more robust. And the disadvantages include things like, well, if the connector becomes damaged on a portable device, it's going to be difficult to, to read anything from it. They're easily lost. They're quite small. They fall out of um, people's pockets. People leave them plugged in. They forget about the fact that they are plugged in. If you don't uh, remove them safely, then you can end up with corrupted files and corrupted devices. So there's that sort of disadvantage to using them as well. Um, what they have said they wouldn't accept as an answer is lack of capacity. So size is um, something that they're really not overly concerned about in terms of uh, the disadvantage of using the uh, device. So there's uh, an example question with some example answers uh, in terms of different storage devices, characteristics, advantages and disadvantages.